hopefully the sound is okay today. Where did we leave off last week? I think <coughs> last week we <coughs> shit, I'm coughing again. Um, I think last week we wait, wait, wait. um left off with number eighty nine. Was it? We we're gonna interrogate him or whatever the fuck. Maybe I should have just left it on the start page. That's just more interesting to. look at than just the safe screen. <laughs> actually like hop into my stream before I start playing instead of just starting it waiting for two minutes or something and then playing anyway <coughs> or I could just play grandpa this entire stream I need so much anima. I need so much anima. <sighs> bad because at the start of my uh, next video I upload onto YouTube, which is going to be this one, um, there is going to be this like 10 minute dead period of me just talking. Um, 
while I wait for people to come in, but it's not like I'm doing um, a let's play for YouTube. I'm doing a Twitch stream of a game that I happen to like and I want to play. So, there's that. Hello. <laughs> I'm just sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm gonna give it three more minutes before I actually start playing. Um, I think probably the amount of people actually coming in are gonna be the same as always. Uh, and I also didn't really give that much warning about the fact that I'm streaming today. Um, <coughs> Partially because I have been busy all week, too. So. I wish I had slept all morning, but it's okay. I went to the gym. gym today, right? And, uh, I told myself that I was going to start doing, like, strength training and build some more muscle back up into my upper arms, um, which is fantastic for me, probably bad for other people, but, uh, supposedly you will burn more calories just existing if you have more muscle on you, so I'm going to go with that logic. Um, but anyway, not the point. I went to the gym went, and in the back of the cardio room, they have this 29 minute full body workout circuit thing that has weight machines. And all of the people who just focus on doing actual weight training go into the other room where all the where all the rest of the weight stuff is and so I did the 29 minute full body workout thing just to like kind of get an idea of how to use the machines again because it's been probably since middle school um it's five o'clock so I'm going to go ahead and start but But, um, yeah. So, I was doing that, and I was rotating between the machines in the order that they, like, had mapped out for you to do it in. And by the time I was, like, finishing up, um, I did tell you about this Nitro, but there was this lady that was standing off to the side that was giving me the evil eye for some reason, and I don't know why still, and I sincerely thought that she had wanted the machine I was on, so I finished up, I got off, and she kind of like looked at me when I was going towards the elliptical that I was going to use, and then didn't get on the machine, but just stood there ominously. It was really creepy. Um, probably the strangest experience I've ever had at my gym, and I've been going to that gym since I was a little kid, so. Anyway, um, we left off with investigating number 89. Hello. Uh, so we're gonna <coughs> pick up there. Um, I'm gonna investigate everything. I don't think there's particularly new dialogue for this stuff that's hanging on the walls, but, you know. Yeah, it was super weird, and I told my mom about it, and she asked me if I remembered what the person looked like. So I told my mom, I'm not gonna tell you guys, but 
told my mom and I guess we will uh, look into it maybe next time or I can say something if it happens again. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up about my gym stories and uh, go back to play. <laughs> Alright, so... <coughs> Number 89 is sitting in front of me. I'm glad that you're very into it, honestly. I really, really like this game. Um, so let's go with... What's your name? Number 89. Your real name. I don't remember. Where are you from? Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is a republic in West Africa. Population 17 million. I don't have time for your jokes. You're the original Cyclops killer, aren't you? That's right. I was one of the culprits behind the case six years ago. One of the two Cyclops killers. Do you know Shoko Nadami? Yeah, I guess I do. About a month ago, Shoko visited Fuchu Prison. Was she there to see you? That's right. What did you talk about? Nothing special. You're in no position to lie. I'm not lying. She didn't come to hear me talk. Then why did she come? To meet me. Meet you? She probably just wanted to see me. When did you first meet Shoko? A long time ago. I don't remember exactly when. What's your relationship to her? A physical one. I'm kidding. She was just a business partner. Who killed Shoko Nadami? All right. Let's get right down to it. Two days ago, you called Investigation HQ and said, I know who killed Shoko Nadami. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so hasty. We haven't agreed on a deal. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? It's done. You've got a deal. All right. But to explain it properly, I need to tell you a story. It might take some time. Is that all right with you? I've got nothing but time. Then let's get started. The story of a lonely assassin. Once upon a time, there was a detective, full of righteous justice. Let's call him F. F found the evils of the world intolerable. F had no parents, no siblings, and grew up in an orphanage since he was born. He suffered every kind of abuse imaginable there. It led him to despise all the evils of the world. One day, F was chasing a thug down at the harbor. Someone wanted for the assault and murder of women. Okay, I get it. I'll just throw down my knife. Here. And you lower your gun. It's fine. I got nothing else on me. I'll go quietly. You know, I have a history with hospitals. I've been going to a special hospital for a while. Even if I get caught, it's all good. I'll come right back out again. What should I do next time? Just thinking about it gets me excited. The culprit was unarmed, but F never served a day in prison. The case went to trial for some time, but it was determined to be self-defense, and he was declared innocent. If the truth got out, it would be a huge scandal for the police. 
people at the upper level were terrified of what might happen, so they had evidence fabricated. F wasn't suspended or disciplined at all. After a while, he returned to his job like nothing happened. That was a turning point for him. He was ready to shed the morality that was weighing him down, holding him back. F still wanted justice, and he was willing to dispense it to the immoral one by one. He became an assassin, a lone gunman, no agent, no employer. He was his own man. F believed that he was judge, jury, and executioner, but it didn't last long. One day, F got rid of a criminal we'll call X. X was responsible for defrauding and killing an innocent old man for his life insurance policy. Turns out, X had connections. Someone wasn't happy that he died. Rohan Kumakura, chairman of the Kumakuras. X was a top executive of the Kumakuras at the time. Rohan ordered his men to find and kidnap F. I've done some research. I know you've cleaned up at least 18 pieces of scum from this earth. But somehow there hasn't been a single criminal investigation. They're all treated as suicides, accidents, and natural causes. Amazing work. I'm impressed. How about you work for us? Of course, you have the right to say no. But it'll be the last word out of your mouth. F was trapped. Even if he somehow survived, he would be looking over his shoulder for the rest of his life. He had no choice but to take Rohan's offer. Thus, F's self-employment came to an end. He became a hired gun of the Kumakuras. Rohan even gave him a code name. Falco. Named for the falcon, a bird of prey. I forgot I have to move my joystick around a little bit. <laughs> Falco didn't quit his job as a police officer, though. He worked as a detective by day, assassin by night at the will of the organization. An ordinary killer would need motive to take a life, not Falco. He did as he was told, one target after another. It didn't take long to destroy his heart completely. Time passed, <laughs> and a few years back, Falco, who by this time was exhausted in body and spirit, made a fatal mistake. He missed his mark and ended up taking a bullet to the stomach. Somehow, he managed to escape. After reaching a nearby shrine, his legs finally gave out under him. He had no strength left. He put his back up against the shrine and let out a moaning breath that he thought might be his last. But at that moment... In his darkening vision, he saw a woman approach him. He watched her take out her phone and dial for help. At the same time, he heard footsteps. Footsteps of at least two people closing in. He knew immediately that they were after him. He sprung into action, grabbing the woman and pulling her close, kissing her to keep her from talking. That was the first encounter between Falco and the woman. She was a teacher at some school. It was like she was from a totally different world than him. Listening to her talk, he would forget everything about his line of work. 
She was his only contact with the ordinary, mundane world. They met in secret a few more times, and Falco felt his heart grow warmer. Her smile and kindness were like a cold glass of water for Falco's parched heart. Falco started to become himself again, his former self. He swore on his life that from then on, he would live for her. So, you wanna go clean? Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. But, there is one last thing. One final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need you to dispose of them. Should be simple, no? Rohan handed Falco a picture of a woman and a girl. It was the teacher Falco met at the shrine. And her daughter. She had just turned 12. Why the two of them? Rohan, as usual, never gave a reason. And Falco had no intention of carrying out the kill. But if he didn't, he knew that someone else would. He thought long and hard. How is he going to keep them safe and get out of the life of crime? He couldn't find an answer, no matter how hard he thought. He was backed into a corner. So, he decided to call on an old friend for help. And then... For some reason, he wouldn't open his mouth again. <coughs> Pretty sure these don't say anything new, but I'm going to click everything again to just make sure. He's not talking. Why did you stop? Why did you stop? You mentioned a detective. Well, Peter's here because boss isn't. So... Boss is, uh, not around for this part. Um... Was that the whole story? Was that the whole story? What's the connection between that and Shoko? I want you to know it does not matter what order you do those in. Hey, answer me. This is a transaction, remember? Until I get a guarantee that you'll uphold your end of the bargain, I'm not telling you anything else. I'll give you half up front, half later. <laughs> if you want to hear the rest of my story, you better start the release procedures. Once they've cleared, I'll tell you everything. Date, it is unlikely that number 89 will uphold his promise, even upon release. Pewter. Yes? Start the preparations. For what? What do you think? The sink. <coughs> okay. Um. I have injected number eighty nine with the usual dosage. <coughs> he will not be waking up anytime soon. 
Are you ready, Agent Dot? <coughs> yeah. The time limit is six minutes. I know. Let's begin. As soon as I get to a part where I can go into the menu, um, <coughs> I need to get up for a second because dinner is done and I need to pull it out of the oven. Uh, yeah. I shouldn't be that long. Um, it'll only take a couple of minutes, but I will need to- Ah, oh, fuck, it's a sink. Okay. Um... But yeah. Sup? Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Can you hear me? <coughs> oh wait, shit, did I turn the oven off? Hang on. Um, I am back, <coughs> and uh, the oven was in fact off. I was worrying for no reason. Um, yeah, so number 89 is an adventure. This sink is a little troublesome from what I remember. I do not know if I'm going to be able to do it with any time left, but I'll try my best. I 
did take notes on how to do this thing, but I don't know where my notebook with those notes are. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna do it without those, I guess. Because I am a genius who misplaces things everywhere. I'm gonna try and keep my mic a little bit away from my face because I'm hungry, so <coughs> I'm trying to eat a little bit too. <laughs> Oops, did not mean to click that. <coughs> no, not sup. Why are you sleeping on the job? Because I want to, obviously. Why are you getting mad at me? Yeah, this rug feels so good on my skin, yeah. Why are you suddenly a cat? Playtime's over. Let's begin. Stand up. Is this the Sagan residence? It definitely is. But why? Number 89. What were you up to? The green? I do not think I can pass through it. Really wants to hide it, huh? Okay, new plan. Somnium scan! Activate! This appears to correspond to the green thing. in the cold. I know, I know. Let's smell it. It smells like a typical winter iris. What does a typical iris smell like? Elegant and gentle. Can't you just tell me what it smells like? I had to search online for a description, but could not find one. Oh, right. I forgot about that. A winter iris. Yes, uh, she was injured. You can do it. I believe in you. Stop it! You're distracting me! I got one! Aww, right after I pulled it out, too. Did the green stuff react at all? A phone. Should I pick it up? I guess it worked?
picture. Just a picture. I don't have a pen. No choice. I must use my blood. You don't have to go that far. Hmm. The color has returned. Hey, Iba? I said blood, but it is not the same as human blood. No need to worry. And besides, we are in a dream. Still, blood? I'd feel better if you used a different word. For example? Body fluids? I do not feel comfortable with that. <coughs> Agent Date, you've got five minutes. A book. Yeah. Are you sure this will help us uncover number 89's secrets? It might. We're getting closer. It's ringing again. What should I do? curious who was calling I am curious but what if they threaten me for money you're a police officer have some backbone I suppose we didn't do anything wrong at least you didn't faint. <coughs> it's a ceiling fan. Is that like a giant desk fan? A <coughs> desk fan only moves the air immediately around it, whereas a ceiling fan circulates air in an entire room. Oh, <coughs> surprisingly deep did you find anything well oh there is something a cork what is this substance <coughs> green tea <coughs> it's obviously not green tea Perhaps it's jelly. It's not jelly. It's not any of those things. Um. Agent Dante, you've got four minutes. A book. What these books say. I don't know. Oops. Maybe he used to oversee a library? Number 89. A librarian. What is that? Big. Uh! It's an eye. Date! 
What are we going to do? I did not mean to click that one. Uh, well, I hope we're still good on time, but... A piercing stare. Yeah, it is. out when it looked at me. I hope we're still good on time because I really You have three really minutes Dante. Something about it? Yes. It was kind of cute. Dante. You are insane. What? That's. That's... Hitomi? A book. Here I go. What happened? Nothing. Uh, because you have to. A book. At least time. I do not think there is any relation to this. All right. Guess it's nothing then. What? Oh, there's the last one. You have less than two minutes. Hurry. Ah! What is this you going to accomplish? Know. We're driving number 89 into a corner. By tearing a book. Yeah. I remember how shocked I felt when Mizuki tore up one of the porno mags I was hiding. Dotty! That situation was <coughs> But anyway, it progresses on the side, so. A skull. I do not see the body. I throw it. Would that not be disrespectful to the dead? Dead? It's a hunk of calcium. All right. Sorry about this. Whose skull was this? Unknown. I also cannot determine the connection to number 89. <laughs> Who is that?
Stop right there. First time I did the sink, I failed it like twice, <sighs> and then I ran, and then I ran over the time on the one I actually cleared it on. <sighs> Dante, this is a serious matter. Where's Boss? Huh? Boss, where is she? I don't know. I haven't seen her since about noon. Damn it. Dante, listen. <coughs> Something happened while you were in Samium. Huh? Please stay calm and listen. So Sejima's body was discovered. He was cut into pieces and put inside a vase in his mansion. That can't be. The housekeeper found him and reported it to the police. And one more thing. So was missing his left eye. You mean the Cyclops killer did it? Probably, yes. What is your next move, Date? We'll deal with So later. Before that, I need to talk to Boss. I suggest checking her office. Good idea. <coughs> Not here. Where is she? The somnium earlier was just like the dream I had three days ago. What the hell is going on? What is going on? Well, that's what I want to know. Hitomi was shot by Rohan Kumakura? To protect number 89? And there's another thing I can't figure out. Boss. Why was Boss there? Because it was a dream? Was it completely random? No, that can't be. You can't dream of a face you've never seen. Number 89 must know boss somehow. That's a serious secret. Boss is hiding it. I have to search this room. There must be a clue somewhere. I'll start examining it, uh, in a moment. I'm still trying to shove food in my face. <laughs> the cutscenes haven't been long enough for me to, like, eat and also play. <laughs> can't turn all the way around. <coughs> I think this is the first time we're seeing Boss's room from 
or boss's office from this. Hello. Um. <coughs> we're gonna search boss's room. Or office. So. <coughs> Nothing I'm looking for there. The bag's on the wall. No. Probably not a clue. Damn it, boss. Hiding something from me. I could beat her over the head with that tombstone. There doesn't appear to be any significant meaning to the tombstone. Boss loves her wine. Maybe she got drunk and went to Hitomi's house for some reason. You sound drunk yourself. The wine bottle is not relevant. Nothing I'm looking for there. Chair. Cabinet. I got it. I found it. This must be the key to solving the mystery. Good work, Date. Now you only need to find the giant keyhole. Maybe it isn't relevant. I opened the Matroshka. There was a smaller one inside. I opened the Matroshka. There was a smaller one inside. I opened the Matroshka. There was a smaller one inside. I opened the Matroshka. There was a smaller one inside. I opened the Matroshka. Inside was a strip of paper saying, Not a winner! Too bad! It's mocking me. Don't blame the Matroshka for your stupidity. There were no clues inside the Matroshka. It's the same Christmas tree as usual. I can't find any clues. The coat hanger. Lots of things hanging here, but no clues. Maybe the posters? No. No clues there. Soba restaurant's door curtain. Probably not a clue. The mask on the wall. It is strange, but it doesn't have anything to do with this case. The mask on the wall. It is strange, but it doesn't have anything to do with this case. I don't think there are any secrets on the map. Public bath door curtain. Probably not a clue. Look, Date! Handsome young men! Why are you getting excited? <coughs> there are no clues on the poster. The life preserver. It probably isn't. Maybe after I get on the bike... What? You think a clue would appear? It's just a stationary bike. Have you always been down here? Maybe you've overheard some of the boss's secrets. No answer. Keeping quiet, eh? Maybe I'll sink with you. Date, if you don't take this more seriously, I will end you. The figure is maintaining the right to remain silent. A symbol. It doesn't contain any secrets. A snowboard. No relation to boss's secret. Ordinary skis. Maybe if you get a high score, you get a clue. 
Do you really think that is the case? This isn't an escape room. I don't know that. The electronic darts game is unrelated. <coughs> the bookshelf, maybe? No, I don't see anything that could be a clue. The pumpkin is probably not a clue. Happy birthday! No relation to the case. Maybe she was a fisherman in a past life. Why would that matter? The big catch flag is probably not a clue. The boss drinks her coffee black. It must be a symbol of her black heart. You have cracked the case wide open. <coughs> An unrelated coffee maker. Maybe something is inside the shogi piece. I looked with the x-ray mode, but did not discover anything. The king shogi piece. <coughs> I can't find anything special about it. The hint is the Tanuki statue. It must be a cryptogram, some kind of wordplay hint. Well, what is the hint? Okay, maybe the Tanuki has nothing to do with it. Soccer ball. Probably not a clue. The volleyball. Probably not a clue. I know. Boss must be radio controlled. She's a robot who was programmed to show up at Hitomi's house. Date, calm down. Hey, I know you're hiding something, Mario. No, I'm not hiding anything. A mannequin, but he is a cop. I trust him. There's a clue under the rug. I lifted up the rug, but didn't find anything other than a few homoerotic manga. There's nothing under there but gay manga. It probably isn't a clue. Maybe this clock needs something. Like what? I would appreciate it if you exercised thought before opening your mouth. You can hear his thoughts anyway, Aiba. The air conditioning? I don't think anything is hidden there. Secret, she would keep it somewhere around here. I think this is the last thing I can examine. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, alright. Computer. Iba, can you hack this PC? I will try. Logging in. I have recovered some video data. It was uploaded only a few hours ago. Open it. That is... So Sejima.
guess I would like to save. <coughs> okay. Um, no, I already did that. <coughs> <coughs> no, it's not an ending. Um. So, yeah, this is locked until I finish another route, um, which is why I was trying not to do that route first, but I fucked up, I guess. Mm-hmm. We have to do all the routes to get the true ending. That's how all of these games are. Um... So <clears throat> we're gonna go back to the kind of uncomfortable sink. Um, disclaimer: like last time, this sink does have uh, images of violence, murder. Um, like the rest of this game, there is a warning for Igor. Um, there are a lot of violent parts of this sink. Um, I think especially on the... Especially on this uh, route that we're going to take for this. I think uh, the first time I turned the knob, right? So this time we're going to hit the TV and see where that takes us. Ready? Steady? Go. What is this place? It looks depressing. How is this related to Iris? Unknown, but there must be a connection. <coughs> what are you hiding? Somnium skin, activate! Yes, yes we are. Um, we went back to do this thing, and hopefully this time I will actually take us down the route that I was trying to get us onto the first time. Um, so a TV. And that is the only targetable thing in the room, I believe. A CRT TV. Uh, I spun the dial last time, right? So we're just gonna. Fixing it by hitting it is an <coughs> old fashioned approach. Well, this is an old fashioned object, so. What was that just now? A child's drawing of a rat. Iris must have drawn it. It is not yet possible to determine that. Let's continue the investigation. There is much to interact with. Oh, good lord, do I remember how to do this one?
I see many objects in the room. Heat the sink. Um... A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. body mirror a double door <coughs> it doesn't open we don't have to worry about it Five minutes left, Otto. A shelf. Various things have been placed on it. It appears to be a frog. A child's painting. Let's hope it's not dangerous, or you might... Croak. Was that supposed to be funny? No, I was just thinking about the meaning of the painting. There does not appear to be a particular meaning. I agree. A shelf. Various things. appear to have stopped the explosions made the room change <coughs> this is a dangerous dream but we must continue An analog TV. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That was creepy. I nearly pissed my pants. It appears to be a butterfly reference book with pictures. That will be difficult with it being this thick. That is somewhat accurate. The more you do, the less time you have. But we have no choice but to investigate further. Right. An operating table. Just a locker. That was close. If this were the Delta Princess, I would have been stabbed. Why was it booby trapped? I do not see anything else inside. Would you like me to examine the knife? Good idea.
Yeah. A full body mirror. The knife that flew out of the locker. Like this? What? <coughs> I only threw it lightly. Also, an oil drum, television, and torso. I think I understand. I'm starting to see the Aren't picture. You? I do not yet understand it. Shoot and kill. Three minutes, Date. Oh, yeah, let's see. Ya. An oil drum. use I cannot take it off maybe we don't have to open it uh, I just wasted a bunch of time didn't an I? oil drum What does this mean? Bullets? They might be used for something. Let's keep them. Uh... Yeah. A revolver. Can we use the bullets we found earlier? This could work. I'll try shooting it. This version of the sink actually uh, freaked me out a little bit more than the one that was just straight up uh, character models being murdered for some reason or another. is right. What happened during that Somnium? <coughs> we saw the whole thing on the monitor. But we're just as confused as you are. Well, upon further reflection, it is not so strange. Dreams are developed outside of our conscious will. 
When you sink into Somnium, there is no guarantee of what you will discover. What about the figure? It could have been Iris herself. That is a possibility. The sinker sees the subject's dream from the third person. That means that Iris... She must have met So Sejima somewhere. We did see Congressman Sejima in there. We saw that shadow kiss him, too. Did that happen in reality? Not necessarily. I'm sure you've had dreams of kissing celebrities and porn stars, right? The first part, yes, but the second part, no. You sure about that? Anyway, you know what I mean. A dream is not made up entirely of memories. It can include things outside of your memory, like TV or movies. Even if the figure was supposed to be Iris, her smooch insomnium does not necessarily reflect her actions in reality. <coughs> you can't use the word smooch. Why not? So we don't know if Iris and So are acquainted. That's right, because So is a celebrity of sorts. It's possible she just saw him on TV <coughs> or online. You were silent for a time. While I was deep in my thoughts, I heard Pewter speak. Date, Iris is about to wake up. Got it. Got it. I gave my short reply and headed to the sink room next door. Putting me to sleep when I wasn't expecting it? You cops are more rough than I thought. You signed a consent form before you came in here, didn't you? You forced me to sign it. Anyway, Iris, I have some things I want to ask you. What? Sink machine. The sinker's chair. The person sitting here does the sinking. The subject's chair. The person sitting here is the subject of the sinking. Peter is observing this through the window. I'll leave Iris to you, Dante. Boss is looking this way through the glass window. Is there something you want to ask me? You should be talking to Iris right now. The door to the control room. Past that door is actually another door that will take you to the sixth basement floor of the government building. The entrance to the sinking room is connected to the control room and a passageway. Iris looks a bit hazy. Um, how are you feeling? I'm okay. Normal, I guess. Why? Did you do something that would make me sick? I just took a peek inside your head is all. Inside my head? Do you remember your dream earlier? Dream? What are you talking about? The subject of the sink does not experience Somnium as you do. Iris would not know about it. Do you know a politician named So Sejima? Yeah, I know his name and face. I've never met him. You haven't? I'm just an internet idol. It's not like I have connections to politicians or anything. About the Nile message with Oda. Iris, let me ask one thing. The message Ota sent you on Nile.
I won't tell anyone about that thing. What is that thing? I don't know. Ota's the one who wrote that. You should ask him. Iba, Ota's phone is still broken, right? But he definitely sent that Nile message. Ota purchased a new phone in Akihabara yesterday. The same number? Yes. Call it. Connected. Hey, it's Konami Date. Where are you? Ota, I know you can hear me. At home. I'm at home. Got it. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Is Tessa still at the police station? Yes. If you want me to talk, release her. Criminal procedure law number 198. Persons may refuse to heed a summons or leave the supervision of the police at any time unless they are arrested or detained. Tessa isn't a suspect. According to Article 223, this applies to all persons of interest. You haven't issued an arrest warrant for Tessa, right? So if you don't release her right now, you are violating the law. <sighs> Damn. Do we have a deal? You want my testimony, right? Bring Tessa here, and I promise I'll tell you everything I know. So he says... This kid is starting to get on my nerves. <coughs> so, what are you going to do? Shit. <coughs> <coughs> and we're going to Matsushita Diner. Iris, come with me. We're going to Matsushita Diner. Were you talking to Ota? Yeah, telepathically. I have special powers. Anyway, let's go. Matsushita Diner. Tessa! Thank you, Ota. It's thanks to you. That's right. It's not like you can do whatever you want just because you're the police. <coughs> Maybe not. But you better keep your promise. <coughs> um, how far can I pan? Not very. Alright. It says, good luck. Nothing but a window. A love table. A small sitting cushion. There's a menu on the table. Neither of us can figure out what that sauce is. Disposable chopsticks. <coughs> <coughs> menu is written on the wall on Tanzaku paper. A beer ad on the wall. I can see the kitchen area past the counter. A cordless phone. A swinging door. A kid's chair. A stool. A counter. There is a family photo. A table. It's a round chair. I th think that is all I can interact with. S. Iris is standing next to me. Is this her first time here? Why does that matter? Do you want me to leave? Have you ever met Oda's mother? 
Don't you have things to ask Ota? Hurry up. About that thing in the Nile message. Didn't I tell you? Ask Ota about it. It's Oda. He looks pretty nervous. Uh, did I keep you waiting? I was nervous thinking about Tessa. I couldn't stop imagining what dirty, perverted dojin plots you were acting out with her. As long as I am in your eye socket, that won't happen. Wouldn't happen anyway. Where is your mother? She's in the living room in the back. I think she's watching TV or something. Okay. Did you come all the way here just to ask me that? I guess you bought a new cell phone. Yeah, I did. Yesterday in Akihabara. Great. About that thing in the Nile message. So let's hear it. What is that thing? That thing? Don't play dumb. You sent that message to Iris. Oh, um... Date, will you do me a favor? What? There's a picture on the counter, right? Yeah, and? I want you to take a good look at it. The photo. Yes, the photo. Oh, Dante. Technically, this is the first time it happens in this route, so... Yeah. In the other route, he gets tased, and in this one, he just gets hit by a band. Uh, head is pounding. What time is it? The day has turned over. It is Monday, 2.50 a.m. You've been unconscious for nearly five hours. Ota got me, didn't he? He did. He struck you over the head with the walk. Ah, <sighs> little bastard. Why did he do that? I don't know, but afterward, he ran off with Iris. How do you know? You had lost consciousness, but I was still watching. I recorded video of the incident. Take a look. Uh... Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car! You witch! You, you stay away from my boy! Why didn't you chase them? I'm sorry? You should have jumped out of my eye and ran after them. I couldn't move. The mechanics controlling my ambulatory motion were short-circuited by the blow to your head. <sighs> she is a delicate piece of technology, Dante. Dante. The boss is calling. 
Oh, how am I gonna report this one? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Just now, the killer... Well, just watch the video. I sent the address to Iba. Iris! No, that's... The criminal is streaming this live. Iva, the source. Identified. The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Okiura? Date, focus. We need to get to the site, now. feel the sweat on my palms. The engine raised a high-pitched scream. Oops. But I could barely hear it. My heartbeat was pounding in my ear, shaking me to the core. How much time had passed? The feeling of time itself had disappeared. Eventually, the car reached a long bridge. Shortly after, the image changed. <sighs> that sick bastard! reach the destination. Please, please let me make it in time. <coughs> I wish I was capable of napping. Dante. Where did they go? Through the back door. Just hang on, Ota. Help is on the way. Don't worry. Iris is alive. Backup is en route to this location. Dante, pursue the culprit. All right, I'm on it. Any traces of the culprit? Still nothing. We also didn't catch the culprit on any of the surveillance cameras. 
They probably got away through the back alley. While wearing a polar bear costume. Maybe they took it off and threw it in the ocean. If it were filled with something heavy, it would sink to the bottom. <clears throat> Cold air is blowing from the AC. <coughs> not gonna read out anything that's not super interesting. Mario doesn't talk today. <sighs> trying to click the shogi piece. This is so much easier when I can use the actual touch screen on the Switch. <coughs> can you imagine Date just like leaning over and like slowly pushing Boss out of the way to look at the Shogi piece? There's a clock off to the side of her desk. The battery died on that thing, so the hands have stopped. The Persian rug is laid out. Boss's desk. There are stickers all over the front. She has a computer on her desk. The type that has a monitor built in. Uh, I think that's everything that's targetable in here. Her room has so much stuff it always second guess myself. <laughs> Alright. Boss is sitting on top of her desk. From this angle, it looks like you should be able to see up her skirt, but you can't- Date! Not that I would want to. Um... About Okiara Fishery. You should ask Iva about that. Yes, I have already done some research. Okiara Fishery is owned by the Okiara we know. Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. Currently, Okiara Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other persons. So it's a coincidence the criminal chose that location? Unknown. <coughs> I want to hear from a representative of Okiara Fishery. They're giving statements at HQ right now. The line is pretty long. You could just talk to Mizuki. 
Right. She's part of the Okiura family, too. Oh, speaking of. Hey, boss. Did you end up sending anyone to take care of Mizuki yesterday? Jeez, you're finally getting around to asking that? Yes, she's fine. I had one of our new recruits take her. She took her back to your house, so Mizuki should still be there. So Mizuki's at home. And I'm fairly certain she's furious with you. After leaving her alone with Mama, I mean. About Iris and Oda. They were taken to Central Hospital. Oda's surgery went well. He's in treatment now. He's stable, nothing life-threatening. Iris, though. Is she still in surgery? Yeah. Iris's left eye was forcibly removed. Because the optic nerve is connected to the brain, the surgery will take some time to complete. Have you contacted Hitomi and Miyumi? Of course. Hitomi is at the hospital, waiting for the surgery to finish. And Mayumi? She was at the hospital earlier, waiting for Ota to get out. I think she went back home to get some clothes and things for Ota's hospital stay. Date, last night, Mayumi left the diner to chase after Iris and Ota. Perhaps she knows something. Yeah, she might. Let's listen to Mayumi's story. About so. So, Sejima? He was in Iris' Somnium yesterday. Right. But Iris says she's never met him. Why not ask So about it? So lives in Azabu, right? I guess I could. Has CSI found anything at the warehouse? It's still ongoing, but they haven't found anything of note yet. Date, Aiba, go to the warehouse again and investigate. You two might be able to find some useful clues. I should go investigate. Alright, boss. I'm going to investigate all this. Got it. We're counting on you. Let's go, Aiba. Roger that. Boss is sitting on top of her desk like normal. All right, map. Um, I'll let you guys pick. Where do you want to start? Options are the cold storage warehouse, which is where CSI is currently out at, Matsushita Diner, where um, Mayumi is currently at, the Sejima Residence, where Sosejima is currently at, Central Hospital, where Date and um, Hitomi are at, or the Date Residence, where is where uh, Mizuki is at. <laughs> okay, we'll go see Mizuki first then. Okay. What's his name? Hey, Mizuki, could you take a break? I want to ask you something. God, I wish I was that powerful. <coughs> oh, can I not examine this stuff right now? No stupid comments only talking to Mizuki. Hmm. <coughs> 
She's tiny and powerful. Mizuki is still working her muscles. Um, let's just start with... You're mad at me, aren't you? Where's the officer who dropped you off? About Oda and Iris. About the fishery. Mizuki is still working her muscles. Apologize to Mizuki. Listen, I get it. I'm really sorry, Mizuki. Yesterday, I went to meet up with the Yakuza gang. The Kumakuras. Remember Mama said Renju had some connection with them? So I went to question them. But of course, I couldn't take a little girl with me. You understand, right? I'm not afraid of any Yakuza's. I'd make their hearts stop beating in three seconds. Girls shouldn't talk like that. That's awfully sexist of you. This is why no one thinks you're attractive. I'm attractive? Uh-huh, keep telling yourself that. That's why you haven't had a girlfriend in four years. My Ouch. girlfriend is a ninja. <laughs> and she's just hiding in the shadows. Sure. So what do you want to ask me anyway? Can I? Okay, now I can investigate everything else. <coughs> a backpack. It looks small on Mizuki now. Four years ago, when I bought it for her, it looked so big on her back. Mizuki's school backpack. Mizuki's favorite metal pipe. I have no idea what she uses it for. Mizuki's favorite metal pipe by the wall. Rack. Clothes are hanging on the rack. They're mine and Mizuki's. Hey, could you stop hanging your clothes next to mine? Why? Your old people smell is going to get all over them. Huh. <laughs> I mean, I do like older women. Date, I don't think that is what she's talking about. Mizuki's clothes and mine hanging on the rack. We each have basically one outfit. That's because we're rational people. I don't want to waste my precious time and brain power thinking about what clothes to wear every day. A lot of successful businessmen and scientists do it. Okay, honestly, Mizuki and I do have other outfits. We just keep them somewhere else. My clothes and Mizuki's. Clothes are hanging on the rack. A big window. Corkboard. There's a corkboard on the wall. Oh, I don't have extra dialogue. You watch weird videos when I'm not around, don't you? Weird videos? Something about cuckoldry? No, 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 no. Those are husbandry videos. You know, like... Animal husbandry? Uh, raising livestock. Anyway, don't touch my computer without permission. A PC. My hard drive is full of animal husbandry videos. Date. A desk. There's a chair next to the desk. A bench press. The weights are real iron. The total weight is 220 pounds. Not that I can actually bench that. Bench press. <coughs> file cabinet. A small filing cabinet. I keep a bunch of documents there. Oh, I put the notice from your credit card company in there. A small filing cabinet. I keep a bunch of documents that I don't want to open in there. A trash can. A cushion. It's 
cold. I'm going to catch a cold over here. A cushion on the sofa. A one-seater sofa. The speakers themselves are actu are actually mostly hollow. Four years ago, Mizuki <laughs> used to hide in them to scare you, didn't she? Yeah, and I would scold her every time. She hasn't done such childish things lately. Good news for me. You think so? I imagine that a part of you actually misses it. Large speakers. The insides are mostly hollow. A three-seat sofa I also use as a bed. I've been sleeping here for four years. Mizuki took over my bed. There's a three-seat sofa in the center of the room. A coffee table. The top is glass. A rug. <coughs> audio equipment. Audio equipment for an audio file. Adora Rabbit. It's Adora Rabbit, a stuffed rabbit. It's a character Mizuki likes. I guess there's no point getting into it. It's Adora Rabbit, a stuffed rabbit. A bed. Mizuki sleeps there every night. A kitchen. There are seasonings and cooking equipment lying around. It's a pot. Hey, Mizuki, could you get rid of the Cleone in there? Aw, do I have to? Yes. If it were just one or two, I'd let it slide, but there's a hundred in there. It's not my fault they started breeding. My refrigerator. It's packed with beer, food, and a bunch of Cleone. Um, yeah. I think it's in Mizuki's profile that she likes keeping them. Uh, oops. Mizuki. Um, hobbies. Breeding Cleone and collecting Adora Rabbit merch. We'll go through the files eventually one day. <laughs> <coughs> Door. The entrance. There's a bra hanging from the ceiling. No wait, just lighting equipment. Just lighting. Alright, um... I think that's everything I can interact with. Yes, okay. So, back to Mizuki. Mizuki is sitting on the bench. Um, where's the officer who dropped you off? Where's the officer who dropped you off? I told her to go home. I said I would call her to check in. Okay. Why are you disappointed? Did you want to meet her? It's not like that. You wanted to see her boobs? I thought you were more into small boobs, pervert. I like big boobs too. I suppose you are what they call a tit man. Dotty. <coughs> um. About Oda and Iris. I saw the video. The one at 3 a.m. last night. Ota is amazing. I'm changing my mind about that guy. Ota's out of intensive care. Iris is still. But I know she'll be okay. Iris's surgery will definitely be a success. You stay positive, even if there's no reason to be. It's one of your good qualities, Date. What? I believe it. Iris is going to be just fine. Aww. About Okura Fishery. Okura Fishery is a company Grandpa made. I don't think Daddy had anything to do with it, though. Grandpa died 17 years ago. Someone else is running that company now. They aren't family. 
What kind of person was your grandpa? I never met him. He died before I was born. But Daddy did tell me stories. What kind of stories? Back when Grandpa was in Great Grandma's tummy, she was on a passenger ship that got shipwrecked in a storm. She had to have the baby out on the ocean. On the ocean? Yup. And then, Grandpa was raised by dolphins. Huh? By the time he was ten, he was catching fish with his bare hands. And then, Grandpa got up on land and learned language and culture and stuff. And then he decided to start up Okiura Fishery. Sounds like a tall tale. Yeah, Grandpa was a legend. All the fishermen and sailors respected him. That can't be true. But there's a part of me that's thinking... Maybe. After all, Mizuki herself seems superhuman. I'd believe her grandpa was an incredible man. <coughs> Say goodbye. Thanks for talking with me, Mizuki. It was helpful. Was it? I have to continue the investigation, so... Wait, you're leaving me again? I'm coming with you! No. Why? I can't involve you. This might be dangerous. It's okay, I'm strong. You know how strong I am, right? You are the one who knew how special I was before anyone. It was one year ago. I noticed there was something strange when Mizuki came home from school. Hey, what happened? Who did this to you? Some kids at school. Five or six of them. They said I was a weirdo because I don't live with my mom and daddy. And they teased me. And I got mad and... I told them to go away and they hit me. Tell me their names. I'll teach the little punks a lesson. Date, wait. Adult intervention will not solve this problem. Mizuki has to deal with this problem herself. Mizuki, come on. It's time to train. What? I'm gonna teach you how to kick their asses. We're starting right now. Get ready. <coughs> Why the shrine? The shrine is the perfect place for special training. It is? You feel better when you train in quiet, serene places like this. Sure, whatever. First, I am going to teach you four secrets to becoming stronger. Follow these four rules, and you will acquire power beyond your wildest dreams. Date, are you playing a character or something? I'm not Date. While we're in training, I am Master. I'm so sorry about your internet. Shinto Shrine. It looks rather solemn. Uh... <coughs> what does it say? When riding an elevator, mashing the door close button doesn't actually do anything. That's what it says. You're lying. Aren't you? The hesitation. <laughs> Stone monument. There's something engraved here, but I can't read it. Arch. The arch. Chozuya. Hey, Date. What's that? It's a Chozuya. 
This is where you wash your belly button in the sacred water before you visit the shrine. Belly button? Yes, absolutely. In Shinto, the belly button is said to be the dirtiest place. That is why, before praying, you have to cleanse yourself. I see. My belly is holy. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. Date, I wish you wouldn't lie to her while she's impressionable. Hmm? Your story about the belly button? She trusts you, you know. <laughs> She'll catch on eventually. Atrazuya. You wash your hands and face here. Definitely not your belly button. A lantern. I think I prefer interns. A lantern. Guardian dog. A rope hanging from the bell. Uh... Hey Date, what's this? It's called a sacred straw rope. In kanji it's written as poor and linking rope. That's because in ancient China, rope that had water poured on it was used as an amulet to protect from evil. <laughs> Hey, you asked. A sacred, a sacred straw rope. Offering box. Hey, Mizuki, do you have any fishing line and gum? Hey, everybody, there's a thief over here. No stealing allowed. Mokujins. A training dummy. Mokujin is just composed of the words for wood and person. This is. Okay. Mizuki. Mizuki looks skeptical. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> um. The key to victory is to kill the heart. Like, when you get into a fight, aim for the heart? No, it's the opposite. You must kill your own heart, Mizuki. What do you mean? If you are going to fight, you must suppress any mercy or emotional attachment. If you have even a mote of sympathy within you, it will be impossible to fight to your potential. Do not think of your opponent as a man. Think of them as a target. A punching bag or a board. Just a punching bag. Huh. <coughs> your everyday life is of dire importance. What? Why? <coughs> the best training you could ever have is to be mindful during your everyday life. Diet and exercise form a strong body. And if you are always maturing intellectually and emotionally, you will always be able to anticipate your enemy's first move. I get it. But you're so messy! Does that mean you can't fight? Hark! The blowing of the wind <laughs> through the trees. You can't just say something cool to avoid my question. <laughs> Dante. <laughs> <coughs> Mental preparation is important. <laughs> in a fight, you must first be victorious in your mind. Like thinking I'm not gonna lose? Exactly. I do the same mental preparation before going to a strip club. Dante. Before I go in, if I tell myself that they're all out of my league, then they will be. The mental fight has begun the moment I put my hand on the oh, door. Oh my yeah, god. I see. Actually, no. That's stupid. Being quick to act is crucial. 
Mizuki, do you know how to win any fight against any opponent? Um, don't get in a fight in the first place? That is a respectable answer. But no, the way to win any fight is this. Hit them first, and hit them hard enough to finish them. I kind of get it, but... Of course, I'm not saying that's how you should behave. But thinking about this will make a big difference in a real fight. Yeah, okay, I get it, but... Seriously, Date, are you like acting or something? Not Date, Master. Anyway, practice these four truths and you will get stronger. This sounds like a scam. Believe in me. If you do as I say, you'll be thanking me in time. Are you sure? But how about we do a baseline test? Show me what you've got. Huh? How? Well, let's see. How about you throw a punch? I can guess your strength from that. If you say so, I'll give it a shot. First, close your eyes and concentrate. Like this? Exactly. Then, punch forward! Huh? <laughs> How is that? Um... You don't have to be nice. I know I'm weak. Hey, by the way, did you swing back at those bullies? No, I didn't do anything. There were a bunch of them. I didn't think I could. I see. She doesn't know her own strength. I suppose not. Mizuki, let's just say I think you should be more confident in yourself. Really? But never ever strike your master. That is a must. Dante. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. In fact, you're so strong, you scare me sometimes. Well then? No, I can't take you with me. Why not? Because I took responsibility for you. I promised Renju. I can't put you in danger. That's not fair. Bringing up daddy. Iris and Ota feel the same way. They don't want you hurt either. You have to understand, Mizuki. If I need your help, I'll let you know, when the time comes. Really? Yes. Promise? I promise. Let's go, Iva. Where to? It sure is just coming out right now. <laughs> um... <coughs> Where did we say we were going next? The hospital? Okay. Um, hospital. Are you okay? Date. The nurse told me you were here. Yes, just resting. Iris' surgery was successful. They told me she would be fine. After I heard that, a weight left my shoulders and I just collapsed. It seems that she passed out and was brought here. Yeah, the nurse told me. But I'm fine now. I feel much better. A cupboard. Uh, I can see a toilet in there. 
Thank you, Dante. It's a bathroom. I would hope so. Um, curtain. A curtain used as a divider. Peekaboo. Pardon me? When Iris was little, we used to play hide and seek. Seeing that curtain made me think about it. A curtain used as a divider. Equipment used for monitoring vital signs. It measures heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature on the monitor. Uh, a bed. There's nothing else up this way, right? A window. There's a bedside table. TV. There's an LCD TV on top of the bedside table. Hitomi is sitting next to the bed. She's sitting on it, but okay. She looks exhausted. Um, about your alibi. Hitomi, what were you doing around 3 a.m. today? I don't mean anything by it. I'm just doing my job. I was sleeping at home. The police came and picked me up around 4 a.m. That's when I heard about... all this. Her testimony matches what was in the investigation material. The cops came to pick her up around four? Correct. How long does it take to get from Hitomi's house to the warehouse? 20 to 25 minutes by car. And the polar bear ran out of the warehouse at around 3.15? Correct. If you're fast, you can just make it. Do you suspect to tell me? Not necessarily, but... Um... About Oda. I am so thankful for Oda. No, words don't even do it justice. Oda saved Iris, didn't he? I heard the police talking about it. If Oda didn't go to the warehouse that night... Iris would be dead. <laughs> I really don't even know what to say. It's frustrating that there isn't a bigger word for thank you. About Oda. Oda was actually one of my students. I was his teacher in elementary school. Even back then, he had such a strong sense of justice. That common, right? Not that I'm one to say, but... I believe he grew up to be quite an amazing young man. He risked his own life to save someone else. <laughs> his mother must have raised him well. <coughs> About Iris. She... Iris lost her left eye. They haven't found it yet. If the optic nerve and blood vessels are intact, they told me they might be able to restore it. But I'm thankful she's alive. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. While I was waiting for news from Iris's surgery, I... I started thinking about Monica. And I felt like I was going to lose my mind. That must have been very painful. Yes. Do you know anything about Iris and So? So, Sejima? The politician? Yes. We believe they might know each other. I don't think so. They told me is sitting next to the bed. She looks exhausted. Alright. <clears throat> Say goodbye. Sorry for asking you so many questions at a time like this. No, it's fine. I should go. And to the Sejima residence.
How did you get in? Hopped over the fence. That's trespassing, you know. My baseball landed in your backyard. I was just trying to get it back. Salamander. Mr. Sejima is a wealthy man. Perhaps it is his pet. Really? Pond. There are many clay in the pond, as well as a salamander. There's a small island in the center of the pond. Topiary. That's a big moss ball. No. Actually, it's a well manicured tree. He must be into the topiary. It's not a big moss ball. A garden lantern. Mm -hmm. Well, that is strange. Why is Reka from the cabaret club over there? That's a lantern. Doesn't look anything like her. There's a garden lantern. A garden stone. What? With the lantern? Uh, Ayaba was saying that the lantern, like the shape of it, because it's very like wide and curvy, it looks like Date's favorite cabaret club girl. Veranda. There's a rest area with a roof over it. Mansion. The Sejima Residence. <clears throat> There's an art shaped stone bridge over the pond. Bodyguard. The bodyguard is standing completely still, emotionless. Do you know Iris Sagan? No, it's this girl. Cute. What was that? Uh, nothing. You just said cute, didn't you? I did not. You did. Did not. Did. I said shoot. Why would you say shoot? Look, I said I don't know her, all right? What's your boss's relationship with the Kumakuras? I don't know anything. Even if I did, I couldn't tell you. I'm sworn to confidentiality. About Sos Alibi. Congressman Sejima was at home all Friday and Saturday. How about from last night until this morning? He was in his bedroom, resting. Can you prove that? My word should be enough. Iba, are there any security cameras in the mansion? There are several. But for some reason, they are all powered off. There is no image data for the past few days. Really? That's too suspicious to ignore. Um, so... So is feeding the koi in the pond. <coughs> Where were you at 3 a.m. this morning? Here, sleeping, of course. Why? What happened? Did you not see the news? No, I've been reading a book. I don't know what happened, but whatever it was, I had nothing to do with it. <coughs> 
About your connection with the Kumakuras. I told you yesterday. My relationship with them is perfectly legitimate. Hey, Aiba. You were still in the middle of the story about So selling and buying the Kawasaki land. Oh, we can continue that later. Do you know Iris Sagan? I don't. Who is that? I showed him the picture of Iris I have. This girl. Do you recall seeing her? No, I've never seen her. I detect no noticeable rise in So's body temperature. This guy's a politician. Lying is his job. Well, true. Are you finished here? I'm just getting started. You won't get anything, no matter what you ask. So Sejima has nothing to do with your case. It's my job to decide that, not yours. <sighs> okay. I didn't want to get rough. But if I need to, I'll feed you to the koi. I'd like to see you try. Date, he's not all talk. What? Check his body. So is feeding the koi in the pond. Bodyguard. You're not supposed to have guns in Japan, though, if you're a regular citizen. This guy has a handgun. It is, of course, real and loaded. So you're carrying, huh? What are you talking about? Don't act dumb. I should have you arrested for firearm violation. I don't know what you're talking about. The gun you have on you. I don't have a gun. I know that you do. You got a way to prove it? I could search you. Oh yeah? How? You need a warrant for that. <sighs> are you finished? If you are done here, I'd like to ask you to leave. Date, I don't believe we can accomplish anything further here. It's better for us to return to HQ. This is why I hate politicians. The bodyguard is standing completely still and motionless. <coughs> okay, um... I'll just go to the cold storage warehouse and then we can hit Matsushita Diner. Date is stupid. I love him, but he's so dumb. Harbor Warehouse District. Two cars. These cars have been parked here since before 3.17 a.m. One van and one station wagon. Cold storage warehouse became the scene of a horrible crime this morning. Okiara Fishery, cold storage warehouse. A red barrier line wraps around the scene. In the old days, they used to use yellow caution tape for this. Now we've got cheap hologram technology that can do the job even better. Well, sometimes we use good old fashioned yellow tape. Hologram barrier. Iba, what's in the box? It looks like a person. What? No, never mind. It's a silicone doll. In the shape of a woman. Oh, I see. Wooden box. There's a silicone doll inside, but I'm pretty sure that has nothing to do with the case. It's a crane. Can you please move the crane? Date, please shut up. Oh, stop. 
This crane is towering. There's an oil drum. It looks like that girl Reika from the cabaret club in Nakamagura. It looks nothing like her. There's an oil drum. It does not look anything like Rika. Warehouses all in a line. The cops from the head office examined everything. I couldn't find anything useful. Stack containers. I don't think this has anything to do with what happened. Warehouses all in a line. Water. The water of Tokyo Bay. Date, look! The school of mullet! And... Aren't the fish so cute? The water of Tokyo Bay. There's a school of mullet in the water, but it has nothing to do with this case. A forklift. There's nothing special about it. Who owns the van? The Matsushita family. It appears as though it was used for transporting ingredients and supplies. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car! Ota's fingerprints were found on the steering wheel and gear shift. Iris's fingerprints were found around the passenger seat. Those were the only prints recently made. Was there anything else found inside the car? There was one thing. What was it? Ota's cell phone. The one he purchased two days ago in Akihabara. It slid under the driver's seat. Where's the phone now? Its data is being inspected and evaluated. The van owned by the Matsushita family. <clears throat> Oda's fingerprints were found on the driver's seat and Iris's were found on the passenger seat. Oda's cell phone fell under the driver's seat. Police officer. I asked him about the investigation, but there's been no progress. Police officer. can't target the other one. Station wagon. This station wagon is a stolen car. Stolen? Last night, the owner of the vehicle reported it stolen. It was stolen at 10.33 p.m. yesterday. The theft occurred in Fuchu, Tokyo, in the parking lot of Famisto, a convenience store along Koshu Highway. The Famisto parking lot, huh? The car was stolen while the owner was shopping inside the store. The vehicle's engine was on. The doors might have even been unlocked, which would have made the theft easy for the culprit. Who took the car? Ota Matsushita. What? Ota got into the car and drove off. The security cameras at the convenience store caught the entire incident. Ota's fingerprints were also found on the steering wheel of that car. There is no doubt that it was Ota. The stream of the polar bear started around 3 a.m. Correct. About 10 minutes later, Ota appeared on screen. Ota stole the car at 10.33 p.m. That makes four and a half hours until he appeared on screen. I cannot find anything in the vicinity that could be a clue. Me either. Let's check inside the warehouse. Wow, it's cold in here. The air conditioners have stopped. However, the insulation in the walls has kept the room temperature close to what it was this morning. 
I should finish this investigation before I freeze to death. Well then, you had better get started. Alrighty. Well, in Japan, I've heard that it's actually probably safe enough to do that normally. So... Which, you know, must be nice. <clears throat> anyway, Inspector. Um, what's your name? <laughs> Good one, Date. <laughs> Have I asked you before? Uh, yeah. Wait, give me a second. It's coming back to me. It has something to do with glass? Where are you getting this from? I have a pretty unique name. What's your name? Do you remember <clears throat> now? Yeah, I think I've got it. It was three syllables. Something like... Oh, six letters long. You remember all that, but not my name? What's your name? You still don't know. No, not yet, but I've almost got it. Three syllables, six letters. Kodaka. Right? Not even close. What's your name? Do you want me to just tell you? No, no, g give me a hint. It starts with Ka. Starts with Ka, three syllables, six letters. You're making this sound like a riddle. <laughs> um. Is it. Kaniza? Yeah, sure, man. That's my name. What's your name? His name is. Kaniza. Probably born between June 22nd and July 22nd. That's my friend Kaniza. Do you have a family? No, <coughs> unfortunately, I live alone. A job like this, I don't really get the chance to meet new people. Once this case is wrapped up, how about you and I go to a cabaret club together? Hey, now you're talking. You're buying, right? Sure, I'll expense it. I recorded that conversation. I will be sending it to the boss later. Uh, on second thought, uh, why don't we split it? Aw, lame. We see each other, uh, hold on, let me move this cursor. We see each other a lot, don't we? Yeah, wish it were under better circumstances. Too bad you're not a girl. This could be the start of something. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Yeah, thinking the same thing. <coughs> Any clues? Uh, no, nothing so far. The inspector is doing his duties as usual. A police officer. Aren't you cold? Yeah, some engineer from NRIPS created a jacket lined with heating wires. That keeps me warm. Nice, right? All the cops and inspectors around here are wearing them. Any progress on the investigation? I checked this place point by point, but didn't find nothing. Uh, um, box. A wooden box on the shelf. It's empty. There are only a few items on the shelf. Is this warehouse not in use? I can't find any leads on the shelf. There's a cardboard box on the floor. There's nothing in it. That must be Oda's blood. That's where he was stabbed and went down. An evidence marker. It's a little marker that's put up to track evidence at the scene. 
forklift. I don't see anything special about it. I that machine is used to cut ice. We have gathered testimony from the workers regarding it. This has always been in the warehouse, so the suspect did not bring it here. Any fingerprints? Nothing. No fingerprints have been found at the scene at all. This entire warehouse is clean. I see. An ice cutting machine. It's been here a while, so it wasn't moved. I'm surprised that it was working, but okay. Workbench. 3 a.m. this morning. Iris was lying right here. If Ota hadn't come to save her, it would have been too late. This is a workbench Iris was laying on. I can't find any clues here. A hook is hanging from the ceiling crane. The tires of the forklift are clearly frozen to the ground. It hasn't been moved in a long time. Hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. It just seemed noteworthy. The forklift is stopped. It looks like it hasn't been moved in years. I don't know if this has anything to do with what happened this morning. A video camera and laptop. This is what the criminal used to stream. All of these items have been bought from pawn shops and thrift stores. It would be difficult to determine a suspect from them. I have logged into the Wi-Fi in this warehouse. Why does it have Wi-Fi? Okiura Fishery Co. Ltd. is listed as the owner. However, I found the password written directly on the router. Anyone who saw it could have used it. Video camera and laptop used for the stream. We probably can't find the culprit with these, though. Yeah, I'm still wondering why a warehouse needs Wi-Fi. Especially because this one in particular isn't in use. Oil drum. An oil drum. It really does look like Reika from that cabaret club in Nakamaguro. I told you it does not! An oil drum. Probably not a clue this time. Shelves with boxes. Shelves packed with cardboard boxes. I asked the cop on the scene and he said there wasn't anything special in them. There's a dark spot over there. The shadows on the left catch my eye. Alright, shadow. It's dark over there. Is it of concern? Yeah, but without some light I can't see. I am perfect for times like this. Square object. Huh, there's something there. You should go pick it up. Huh, I recognize this. An Odoroki Man chocolate. You've been collecting them for three years. Each chocolate contains a special sticker inside. Years ago, you started buying them for Mizuki, but eventually, you got hooked on them. Even after Mizuki lost interest, you kept buying them. That's a bittersweet memory. The Odoroki Man chocolate. Why is this here? Perhaps we can use it as a clue. Let's investigate further. Ah, <laughs> <coughs> oh, it's freezing. Date, we're at our limit. We've examined everything of interest here. Let's go elsewhere. I agree. Go to my 
Matsushita Diner. Might you be? It's me, Konami Date. We met yesterday. I gave you my card. Oh. So how can I help you? Beer out on the wall. Nothing but a window. <coughs> a lucky cat. A lucky cat statue. It says, "Good luck." Many is written on the wall on Tanzaku paper. Disposable chopsticks. Condiments are placed on the table. A love table. There's a menu on the table. A sitting cushion. It's November, but that calendar says January. Looking closely at it, even the year is wrong. This is old. The gears have stopped turning on the clock. A swinging door. <coughs> I can see the kitchen area past the counter. A cordless phone. Counter. The counter. A stool. A kid's chair. A round chair. It's a mop. A table. It's an autograph, probably from a celebrity. A bucket. It's Mayumi, Oda's mother. She has a picture frame next to her. Uh, are you done packing? Packing? What are you talking about? I thought you came here to pack some of Ota's things for his hospital stay. Ota? At the hospital? My boy's fine. You shouldn't say things like that to a mother. About that photo. Oh, this? As Mayumi spoke, she turned the photo toward me. This is a family photo from when Ota was still small. I wanted to look at it again. <sighs> I'm a horrible mother. I've always caused trouble for my husband and Oda. They've helped me so many times. I am such a burden. But they were always smiling. They were so kind. I remember a gift they gave me one Mother's Day. They knew how much I liked floral patterns. So they gave me this apron and a kitchen knife. Oh, I was so happy. I was crying and smiling, and that's what this photo is from. It's kind of embarrassing, but isn't it such a nice photo? Yes, yes. that's very nice, Mayumi. Where is your husband? Oh, who knows? Date. I did some research on her husband, Ota's father. His name is Matsushita Takaro. He died of myocardial infarction five years ago. What? What is going on here? Um, about last night. Last night? What time? Before 10 p.m. I was already asleep by 10. 
You were sleeping? That can't be. You left the diner to chase after Ota and Iris. I saw the whole thing with my own left eye. Left eye? Not both your eyes? Uh, well... Anyway, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't go anywhere last night. I was asleep. I was dreaming. Dreaming? Yes. A very nostalgic dream. What kind of dream? It was when my son had just started elementary school. I had Oda run an errand for me. And he was taking so long, and I was waiting. My husband said it was nothing to worry about, but I couldn't take it anymore and went to look for him. I found him at a traffic signal, crying. He said he couldn't come home because the signal was still red. But it was one of those crossing signals you have to push. <laughs> that boy didn't even notice it. He just stood in front of that red light. So stubborn. So stupidly honest. Ah, that's my Oda. He was so cute. I couldn't help it. Date, I noticed something. Can you look at Mayumi with the thermal imaging turned on? Do you see it? Part of her brain is blue. That might be due to low blood flow in that part of the brain. Which means... Mayumi has an illness. I have checked her hospital records. For the past six years, Mayumi has been suffering from dementia. Dementia? Symptoms vary considerably, but Mayumi appears to be afflicted by memory loss. She seems to be missing memories. I see. So that's where those weird comments Perhaps are coming from. Life. Can she run a diner like that? It isn't running. What do you mean? Matsushita Diner has been closed for eight years. Matsushita Diner is near the Kabasaki District. It is not technically within the restricted area. However, after the chemical plant explosion, the number of potential customers must have dropped considerably. Before the accident, this diner managed quite well due to its proximity to Bloom Park. Patrons from Bloom Park would often eat here, being the cheaper option. But Bloom Park closed eight years ago. The customers stopped coming, and then, naturally, Does Mayumi not notice that the store is closed? I do not think so. Because of the dementia? Yes. I can't believe it. Well, is that all? I have to start preparing for the dinner shift. Mayumi stood and went to the kitchen. Date, let's go. It's better that you leave things be. You're right. Ryumi is in the kitchen. It looks like she's cutting vegetables or something. Oh, we can pan around now. Beer cases. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. It's got stickers on the side of it. CRT television. Nothing's playing on it. <clears throat> Did I say something else?
Before we reach HQ, let's summarize our investigation so far. Um, scary. Dashboard. These are tasty when they're golden brown. I believe you're referring to hash browns. The dashboard. The center console. Glove box. Boxing gloves. A boxer puts his boxing gloves in the glove box. Okay, that's pushing it. <coughs> the glove box. Mirror, mirror in the car. Who is the most handsome policeman by far? Why, that is Mr. Date, of course. Date, this is starting to concern me. You really should get some sleep. I can see the scenery out the rear view mirror. Passenger seat. The gear shift. I like manuals more than automatic. Gear shift. <coughs> Iba is sitting in the passenger seat. Well, to be precise, an image of Iba is sitting in the passenger seat. <coughs> um. I've been streaming for almost three hours, um, as much as I would love to push us to another, uh, questioning sync part before I stop for the night, since this is a recap that seems like as good a place as any to stop as well. So, um... Next week when we start, we'll get a recap of all the investigation stuff we just did, and, um, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream here now. Thank you for coming.